Hi guys, look what we have here. Very special item from Matra engin. So it is a French word to mean machines or devices. And it is actually a brand of French missiles. And here we have a model type is SM. It may stand for missile support. Type uh, 1519, serial number 2784, made in 1976. So I got it from uh, eBay. And I got also this tag which was uh, provided with it. So uh, it says here. R530 and the R530 is actually this. So one of the uh, first mass produced French air to air missiles. Uh, so the handwriting here is very poor, but here it is written Factory of Salbris. And actually, Salbris in France had a Matra factory, which is now closed by the way. So this factory was responsible for uh, most of the production of the uh, Air 530 missile, it seems, in the 70s. It was damaged by a fire in 72, I found, but uh, they did continue the activity. And it looks like, according to this tag, that this piece was never mounted to an aircraft. So it is an old stock piece. So I believe we have actually here the uh, release actuator for the missile that might be mounted to the pylon of the aircraft given the shape it has might be the half of the shape of a pylon but i did not find any detailed photo of a missile mounting to aircraft for this particular kind of missile but this part uh, obviously moves and will release something that will really might release the missile so to open it i have four big screws here but there is a trap you have not to undo these ones you have to undo these ones and only four screws at one side it is quite a well design that will release this cover so we can expect to find inside here at least one electrical motor as you can guess uh, we have here a seven pin connector But also some uh, auxiliary stuff, maybe contactors or relays. So to remove this cover, you can see now it is loose, but you have to be careful here with actually the rubber piece here around the plug. That will... Ah, actually it is very soft still, so it is not a big deal, but I will not do it uh, too often because I do not want to damage this part. So, nice uh, black anodized aluminium cover here, and here is what we have. So, first side, here two uh, shielded relays in uh, plugged in what seems to be a vacuum tube socket. Here we have uh, uh, obviously an electrical motor because it is uh, magnetic and I can see what seems to be here actually uh, brushes contacts for the rotary collector of the motor some gears here that go inside here and uh, the connector has here a potted unit behind it that with some wires going in them but I did already uh, have a look and you see nothing else. 
There is nothing to see under it, and it is all potted, just a few wires going inside. Same for this module here, which is directly connected to the um, motor brushes. So maybe it is some kind of uh, filter or something for the motor. And uh, you ha we have two relays that will obviously control the motor on reverse polarity. So very nice relays, but the uh, rings here to attach them are really tight and I do not want to damage them. So I uh, will not undo them, but I will need to undo this part to uh, show you the actual uh, mechanism inside here. But first, I will try to power it up for you. So, of course, I have no information whatsoever about the pinout here. But the motor pinout is quite straightforward because we are just two brushes. So if I contact take contact with each one of the brushes, it should allow me to power up the motor. I do not, do not think there is a risk of damaging something because the motors are probably switched. Is probably switched by the relays. So if the relays are not powered, uh, I should not damage anything. So are you ready? Will it work? I have a little box here with a push button. It is easier for me. And yes, we have 10 volts power supply, and as you can see, it is working. I have to reverse polarity on my box here to go the other way. But at least the motor is working. Interesting. A very interesting device, this thing. Okay, so it was this. And now I will just take apart this panel to show you a little bit more. So I try to extract the motor, but it seems quite stuck in here, even by undoing the screws, and it is just a motor anyway, uh, even if it seems to have a quite particular construction. So for this purpose, I have to undo the uh, relays mounting here because they are attached to this front plate. Actually, the screws here were super tight, but thanks to my uh, diamond coated screwdrivers, I was able to undo them. And now I did uh, apply some oil, and it is a lot better. Except for this one, which has a badly machined slot, and it is not deep enough. This one also, by the way. It is quite rare to see uh, defects in the screws of uh, micelle grade equipment. I might uh, give it a little bit of a cut with a saw before I reinstall them, just to be on the safe side. Okay, and also we have two locating pins here that I did already work loose because they were so stuck. But now they are a lot better as you can see. So this plate is uh, apparently green anodized aluminium as is this main structural piece here. And here we just have a warm drive, warm gear, warm gear drive. So this is rotating and it will actuate this part. We need a little bit of grease probably. And here we have some kind of, uh, yes, double uh, ball bearing secured with some set screws here. And it is all ball bearings here also for the shaft and the weird motor. So I wonder if, can I try another time to undo the motor? Because I would love to have a better look at it. So I know the screws here are not uh, tight because I did already undo them. So 
so I can There is another one here which is not super easy to reach. Excuse me. I would like to see if there is any information on this motor. Okay. So in theory, it should come. Ah, ah. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. A little bit at a time. Seems we are good. Oops. Okay. And actually, <laughs> no information at all on this motor, except one model number here, and it is all uh, not really, really uh, in unusual shape for sure. Uh, I will not undo these screws because I believe we will have ball bearings on things. And uh, so maybe these screws are, these bolts are to attach permanent magnets or something inside. Quite uh, weird design and weird shape, by the way. And you can see the case where it is installed. And it is a lot less heavier now. Okay, so it was interesting, at least, to have a look inside this. So I will put this back together uh, here before I stop the video, just a little PCB with um, probably a free roll diodes for the relays and capacitors, very nice capacitors by the way, but this I did try and it is not possible to remove them. The rings are uh, very tight and I need a special tool that I do not have to grab it and turn it. If needed I will make one or something but for now I will keep them alone. Okay, so here is what we have. Uh, now I will uh, put uh, this back together. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.